Alright, so I had a bunch of questions about compression and valves and a lot of other stuff that I didn't know much about. So I figured I'd have to break the engine down again and make sure everything was alright. So here you can see the, the stuff seems to be working okay. The only thing that concerned me was that there was so much, I think it's called carbon, the black stuff on there. I just cleaned this and it was fresh and new and, you know, cleaned out and then it started looking like that. So I didn't know if that was a bad sign or not, but there's that. Uh, the other side was not as bad, however, this valve was staying open. Uh, right here in this part of the video, it it was fine, but sometimes it was sticking open, sometimes it was shut. Uh, if it stuck open, you know, if it was at the point where I could tap it, it would just go in, and then sometimes it would work like it is now, but sometimes it would just still stay stuck open. Uh, but again, that's just this part here where it is actually working like I think it should. But you can see this one's like clean compared to the other one. I uh, thought that was kind of weird. Um, here it's showing you where it is sticking open. Again, it just, for whatever reason, it won't close. Uh, I thought I had fixed that, but apparently not. Um, so I'll have to revisit that. Um, but other than that, I think everything there is fine. Uh, just have to figure out what that is and what kind of fix that'll be. Um, then I can do that. But yeah, you can just see, you know, if I tap it in, it'll go in. If not, it'll seem to just stay stuck out there. Don't know why, but, um, kind of tore everything down again since I figured I'd have to work on it this weekend. And weather's starting to get nice, so I'd like to get it all together. Um, here we got the throttle. Uh, that's just me, you know, moving it. I don't know if this tells you anything or what it tells you at all, but it is what it is there. <laughs> uh, I think that was the other problem I had, but um, I also kind of think the timing was off, which somebody mentioned, and we can see that here in just a few minutes. Uh, you can kind of scroll through if you'd like, and it'll get there, and I'll show you the, the sump and the, the timing gear, I'm assuming is what it's called. Uh, governor and some things like that but uh that's coming up here in the next uh few minutes kind of just narrating along here as we watch figured that'd be easier than trying to record and do everything else because i can barely record and uh mess with everything as it is without it shaking to death but so here's the sump uh this is new i replaced it in that oil slinger thing there uh governor is the same um I believe everything here is fine. Uh, the interesting thing was the oil seemed to have gas in it. It was really, really like not a oil type. I guess it didn't feel like oil. It was like it had gas in it or something, water maybe. Uh, but it was all brand new oil. Um, here I'm just kind of showing the insides of the engine as best as I can for now. Um, notice that dot there on that gear and then the other small gear that goes there uh, somebody was saying the timing might be off so I know I need to align those uh, it actually fell off as I was taking it off so I'm not sure if it was aligned or not um, that little key fell off as well it looks to be okay though and I just need to I believe line those dots up when I put this back together uh, but yeah everything there seems all right um, the interesting thing was the new rod and piston that I put in that was the side where we seen a lot of the carbon or black stuff showing and here you can see the spark plugs that are uh, really dirty you know the left side is the one that was the dirty one the right side wasn't and then that's coming from the muffler so any help will be appreciated